Whitney Houston Killers came into a hotel room, right? Yeah. That's a five star hotel, Hollywood but, Hilton, right? Beverly Hills Hilton. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Why we never saw the footage from the hallway? You know why? Because whoever had Whitney, Q Whitney Houston murdered had enough power to make that footage disappear. I am not self-destructive. I'm not a person who wants to die. I'm a person who has life and wants to live. Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister, has said on several occasions that her she was beat. Mm. They saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub. Like, she was beat. In business, nothing is coincidental. When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made a hundred million dollars. So they killed this twenty million dollar guy, but they reached sixty million in benefits. Wow. And they had some people from your city do it. What do all entertainers do when they run out of money? So they so they masters publishing. What's the first thing they start looking at? They publishing, they masters. They publishing, yes, yes. their masters, yes, yes. and all the royalties Jesus. that I never got. Yes, oh. yes. yes. So. Whitney Houston broke the Beatles record. Broke, yes. Whitney Houston broke Elvis's record. Whitney Houston is the only black artist ever, not even Michael Jackson, to have three certified diamond albums. I Will Always Love You is the highest selling female song in world history. They want to monetize and traumatize. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. This is one of the most important videos I have made so far. Therefore, I hope and pray you will listen with an open mind. I don't just choose to talk about any topics. If you have been watching my videos for a while, then you will realize that I pay more attention to topics that provoke our minds in a positive way. I remember when they tried to make us believe that Cat Williams was crazy just because he was talking about things that made them uncomfortable. I need you to know that this man is one of the few people who has helped me not fall for the narratives the elites push on us. Cat Williams speaks the truth in a language many of us can understand and his goal really is to see us all know the truth about the dark side of this world we live in. For the past few years, we've seen so many young artists from our communities get taken away from us. This has been happening for some time now, to the point where it now feels normal. Just to name a few, Pop Smoke and Nip's Hustle were taken from us in a very painful way, such that till now it hurts. This all looked normal as we have almost gotten used to such things happening in our communities. But after listening to Cat Williams, you will understand that there is more to it. In business, nothing is coincidental or you will be hearing who's losing money. In all of these situations, it's only the artist that's losing. Somebody makes big money. When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made $100 million and now don't have to talk to that artist or none of their crew don't have to validate none of their contracts. Now only got to deal with the mama, only got to see her once a year and it's over. And the money, he goes up and up and up. So they killed this $20 million guy, but they reached 60 million in benefits. Wow. And they had some people from your city do it. Uh, Michael Jackson died due to acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication. Prince passed away from an accidental fentanyl overdose. Whitney Houston's death resulted from accidental drowning in her hotel bathtub with heart disease and cocaine contributing. Let me rephrase this, Michael Jackson, Prince, and Whitney Houston were murdered. If you don't believe me, listen to what almost happened to Kanye West. Look, they tried to medicate me, they, I was exhausted, they wrongly diagnosed me, and they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly, it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount right and i refuse to take this right you understand that if i had taken the medication i would not be here and it would have been oh, whoa is he was deeply troubled we miss him we love his music though well they would have britney spears too i mean look they, they, they would have michael jackson over, over. the sad reality is that music executives benefit more from artists after their passing than during their lifetime the tragic deaths of prominent healthy artists in the music industry have fueled this theory, notably the cases of Michael Jackson, Prince, and Whitney Houston. These iconic artists' untimely deaths undeniably brought about significant financial implications for the music industry, raising questions about the relationship between art, business, and tragedy. I don't know what's this opioid thing, man. Is, is well, being a so crackhead wasn't cool you, back then. Being what? a crackhead wasn't cool. 
now it's they, they seem like they're they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup and it's the most dangerous it's the most dangerous and thing and that's facing um um our society are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that i'm saying that's hypocritical though you're saying um, it's opportunistic yeah yeah, yeah yeah i got i got people to feed <laughs> um oh, i got a bit i got a i got a business to run <laughs> you're gonna make dame dash take this clip and call you a culture vulture let me break this down for you when michael jackson the king of pop passed away in 2009 the music industry witnessed an unprecedented surge in interest and sales surrounding his work jackson's albums experienced a sudden resurgence dominating the charts once again his albums sold millions of copies showcasing a sudden spike in demand for his music Music executives and record labels were able to leverage this renewed interest by releasing unreleased tracks and commemorative editions, thereby capitalizing on the emotional attachment fans held for the late artist. Where did all this generated money go? Similarly, Prince's unexpected death in 2016 had a profound impact on the music industry. Prince was known for fiercely guarding his music and controlling its distribution. Following his passing, his catalog became more accessible across various platforms. This accessibility led to a surge in streaming and sales, driving revenue for the industry. A flood of offerings replaced the controlled scarcity that Prince maintained during his lifetime, luring both devoted followers and interested listeners. Once again, more money for who? That's the question for you. The case of Whitney Houston just made it clear for us all that these people are murdered on purpose because of the party that was hosted after she died. Her tragic death in 2012 prompted a surge in interest in her music and films. Sales of her album soared, and her iconic rendition of the national anthem at the Super Bowl was re-released as a single due to popular demand. The spike in consumption was undeniable, and the music industry once again found itself in a position to monetize the legacy of an artist who had left an indelible mark on pop culture. The key word is monetize. Let me rewind something for you. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control traumatized they want to monetize and traumatize music executives only seek opportunities to maximize revenue their financial gains are the primary driving force behind the untimely deaths of many artists young artists please be aware of the animals in your circles many of these people only care about what they gain from you or by being around you many music executives are monsters i want you to listen to this former music executive and see that cat williams was right all along I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex, period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys, you're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time, you know. They create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much, but in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. The government has wanted to hold down communities of people in different ways, through different methods, for a very long time. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex, and money so that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. And in doing so, they created a world that also made people more dependent on government and as a result, gave themselves more power. 
the record executives that push you to do this, to go and continue to profit off the backs of your work, they're in cahoots with the elite. They're in cahoots with the government. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them. So stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience, you have platforms, you have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing, valuing life than they are of anything else. So I challenge you, use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. How many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult. And they do it because, frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it, but we know the labels are doing it 100%. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end and you see on your royalty check, oh, they spent 150000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150000 Okay, so, and to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. And that's the truth. So change the culture. You have the power. Your people deserve it.